coffee houses became the, the place where the elite, the intellectual, the, the, the social class, the, 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 the movers and shakers went to discuss issues. And it was in coffee houses that Al Hassan Al Banna began his Ikhwan Al Muslimin movement back in the 1910s and 1920s. The first place Hassan Al Banna targeted was not the mosques because he realized the people coming to the mosques don't need to be taught to come there. Rather, we need to target a different class of people. So Hassan al-Banna began giving his mawa'id, his khutab, his durus. He began the very first alim. Because back then, coffee houses were places where, generally speaking, you know, not the, not the religious people. You know what I'm saying? Yani those that are uh, more into, you know, music and smoke. They would smoke the shisha or the hookah over there. You know, the people that are not associated with religion. Hassan al-Banna made it a point to go to those places. And he began preaching his message there. And that was what atta attracted a different crowd to come to the early Ikhwan and Muslimin.